So if we're in the same position here, I clap, yeah, arm under, and get low, and go for the head and arm. And once I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Peruvian necktie. So there's a lot of different ways um, guys do this. Uh, I like this, right? The whole opposing thumbs grip. And the reason why I like it is because it makes my arms longer, right? especially when I'm going against big guys with big necks. Now this also works. The problem with this is come here, is that if you're here, you're gonna have a hard time getting this leg over, right? When here I'm longer, it's a little easier to finish it. Right, so, we won't finish it yet, but once we do get to the head and arm, we're in this position, we want to try and get this part right here under the chin, if at all possible. Even if you're not under the chin, a lot of times you can, as long as you're in this, going in this direction, it'll get there. Right? Because it's just a, a, a solid position. You'll end up getting the side of the neck, and then his shoulder, kind of like a triangle choke, will get the other side. Uh, if you can't get it straight. So once I'm in this position here, it's really important that I come up high. So that way I can get this leg over. So the first thing I do is step over the head. Then I come up, and this is really important. I see a lot of guys fall and they sit down and try and get this leg over. You don't want to do that. When we're in this position, we get the leg over first. Boom, then we fall back. Now from here, I'm just gonna push down, push down, and then I'm just gonna pull my arms straight. 